It is up there with one of the top ways we can protect our children's health. That's what one Mercy Medical Center specialist says today about a brand new report out from the American Academy of Pediatrics. CBS 2 News reporter Joy Howe was there when she addressed the group about what she calls a pandemic. That's serious language, Joy. And you might have guessed it, but it is tobacco use. But this time there are some brand new recommendations because this Mercy Medical Specialist says there is a big, brand new threat. This is how much information I've gained on e-cigarettes just in the last couple years. It's not that tobacco use is bad, Don Sabin tells this group at Mercy Medical Thursday. It can be deadly. Tobacco companies have been producing a product that has killed our generation for years. And they're now producing new and different products, and they are aggressively taking over the e-cigarette market. That new threat, Sabin says. These are a couple different samples, a couple different sizes. Is one reason we're not making progress. The sleek, fun flavored celebrity endorsed new form of tobacco might not be a safer alternative especially when kids get a hold of it they feel that they're it's just a harmless water vapor and there is nothing harmless about these e-cigarettes she says flavors like gummy bear and oreo are targeted to young people they are toxic to the lungs these flavorings that's why the american academy of pediatrics wants those flavorings banned they also want other changes like raising the age to legally purchase tobacco products from 18 to 21. Even making movies that have any tobacco products in them be given a minimum rating of R right off the bat. A third of our youth, if we keep staying at the rising rate that we are, will die a premature death from tobacco dependence and nicotine addiction. And we can prevent this by getting that education and regulations out there now. And again, the Acad American Academy of Pediatrics has 15 recommendations they'd like to see put into place. You can read all of them on our website. Joy Howe, CBS 2 News.